Right, so I am uh, Alon Vinikov. I present the uh, task two, which is called uh, Not So Far. It's also about uh, distant meeting transcription. This is uh, actually a work by many authors. It's a cross-team collaboration at Microsoft. You can see the full uh, list over here. Um, so our objective is similar to the task one. You are given a meeting recording, and you are supposed to generate transcripts uh, with speaker attribution and uh, time markings. And we are actually using the same metric, the TCP order rate. Uh, the difference being is in our case, we use a single device to reflect uh, settings like in typical uh, meeting rooms, like most rooms have just one device. Uh, we have two tracks. One track is the movie channel where you have uh, seven microphone, uh, an array with seven microphones, and the geometry is known. So you can actually train for this setting. The second track is single channel. And here again, we emphasize uh, real settings where we don't use just the micro one single microphone, rather we use the stream, which is output from an actual device. And for that, as part of this task, we provide two new datasets. One is a benchmark dataset of almost 300 meetings uh, in the office space, and it covers a really wide spectrum of real world uh, settings. And the second dataset is for training. Uh, it is, uh, we hope it, it is useful for powering uh, deep learning front ends, and it uses uh, 15,000 uh, real RIRs, like room impulse responses. Uh, we also have a baseline system uh, uh, going from uh, separation to ASR and then uh, derivation. Um, so a bit a bit more details about the uh, benchmark data set. So we have almost 300 meetings. They are relatively short because we want each meeting to be different. We think the source of independent information comes mainly from meetings and not from hours. Uh, we have up to um, eight attendees per meeting. We have 30 different meeting rooms, uh, 30 unique speakers. And this data set is designed to fully evaluate uh, ASR systems. So we have covered many settings like people walking and talking, speech near a whiteboard, uh, overlap speech, distances, uh, noises, and the system must be robust to all of these. And we actually even annotate uh, these acoustic events. So you have these hashtags in the, in the ground truth uh, where you can perform eventually analysis of how your system does it per uh, vertical. Um, about the training set, which is simulated, is actually um, based on um, real recorded room impulse responses. So we actually went from in across many rooms and recorded these chirps and we estimated uh, what actual uh, room response looked look like and we use this to simulate uh, the data set and we hope this data set will be uh, useful for uh, sort of unlocking the deep learning methods which we think are currently um, we don't yet see their full potential because uh, of train test gaps so we hope to close those train test gaps with the real uh, RIRs as well as uh, uh, we simulate up to three uh, speakers with the uh, overlap patterns that are uh, somewhat realistic so this is available for you for training. Um, about our goals, uh, just like Samuel said, um, we are uh, collaborating with, with their track, with their tasks. So actually, the net so far test set is featured across all tracks. So this means you can now, at the end of this challenge, you can hopefully answer the question of uh, which system design is better. Like you can compare single channel versus uh, multi-channel where, where you know the geometry versus a general system like in uh, the DSR track where you don't know the geometry uh, and you're supposed to be uh, robust to any setting. Um, so that's the, the goals. Um, and also would like to mention the getting started section on the Chimate website. You should go there. Uh, it will help you uh, navigate different uh, resources we have here. We have different uh, like links and uh, data sets here. So it's it's a, it really seems like a bit much initially. So this section is for navigation. And um, so you, you will note there's the data section where you can explore uh, our data sets, like the devices and properties. Uh, we have the baseline code on GitHub, and we also have the, uh, um, the leaderboard on Hugging Face. And here I would like to just know that um, if anybody is concerned about visibility, you can, uh, we allow anonymous submissions. So you, you can choose any team name. This leaderboard is meant for you to uh, feel engaged and track your progress. So feel free to use it. Um, that's about it. Um, I will also add that we are also looking for uh, efficient systems, uh, just like the uh, previous track, and we will highlight uh, systems that are efficient or innovative in a different leaderboard um, 
which is which is the non-official one. So I'll be happy for questions and especially feedbacks. Um, thank you.